Welcome to our FB page na free reviewers managed by Lunalin at ang video ito ay uploadin natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Lunalin. Now, let's answer a question from random post. At ito ay regarding sa mga percentage percentage. So, ito ay pariho lang din sila. So, meron tayong mark up at mark down. Let's do problem number one. A video cassette movie purchased for 440 was marked up 25% on selling price. Later, as retail price, prices fell, this movie was marked down 20% on the current sale price. Find its new sale price. Ang sagot dito ay 440. Now, paano ganun lang pala kadali? So, doon muna tayo sa solution number one. Tawagin natin itong box method. So, itong 25%, ibig sabihin yan, one-fourth. So, apat na boxes. Hatiin natin sa apat. 25% ang markup. So, itong 400 40, divide natin sa 4, so balik ka na box, tag 110 ito, 110. Kapag sinabing mark up, so magdagdag ka na isa pang box dyan na 110. So ang total dito ay 550, yan yung mark up. Ngayon, mag mark down tayo ng 20%. Yung 20% na yan, Itong kabuuan, yan yung 100%. So, ang 20% na yan, yan yung kada box dito. Or yung 20%, ang equivalent nito ay 1 fifth. Paanong ganun lang kadali? 1 fifth. Percent means percent means per 100. So, therefore, itong 20%, ay 20 per 100. Ang greatest common factor ito ay 20. So, 20 divided by 20, that is 1. 100 divided by 20, and this is 5. Kaya, 1 fifth. Ang 1 fifth, anong ibig sabihin yan? Yan ay limang hati yan siya. So, kada isa dyan ay 1 fifth. So, yung markdown, ito yung markdown, 20%. I-mark down yan. So, ang natitira ay ganun pa rin, 440. Ngayon, kung naintindihan nyo yung ginawa ko dito, kahit hindi na kayo mag-solve, basta pag sinabing 25 lang na, din naman yan, yung mark up, tapos pag mark down ay 20%, automatic na pariho lang din dito sa mismong original price niya na 440. Anyway, let's do solution number two. 440. 25%, that means one-fourth. So, we divide natin ng four. 440 divided by four, and this is equal to 110. So, yan yung markup. Yung 110, i-add natin yung mismong original price na 440. So, sa markup, ang new price ay 550. Ngayon, itong 550 ay mag-mark down tayo ng 20%. So, 550 times 0.2, again, 20%. Para makancel out yung percent na yan, mag-move lang tayo ng decimal twice to the left. Kaya ito ay... Point two. So, 550 times point 0.2, this is equal to 110. So, since markdown ito, yan yung pang minus natin sa 550. So, 550 minus 110, this is equal to 440. Find its new sale price, 440. Another way sa pag-solve nito, para may pagpilian lang kayo para maintindihan nyo kung paano ba ito i-solve. 
Solution number 3. 440. So, yan yung pinakaunang price dito. Mark up to 25%. That means, yung 440, i-multiply natin ng 1.25. Saan kaling yung 1, ma'am? Yang 1, yan yung 100%. So, 100% of 440 plus yung 25% na markup. So, 25% of 440. Itong 100% equal to 1. Ito namang si 25%. This is 0.25. So, this is 1.25. Ngayon, Kapag i-multiply natin yan, huwag na natin isa-isahin. This is equal to 550. Now, ngayon, doon tayo sa markdown. Yung markdown dito ay 20%. So, kung i-multiply natin ito ng 20%, yan yung pang minus. So, ibig sabihin, doon tayo sa 80%. Bali, 100% yung kabuuan. Markdown, so mag-minus tayo ng 20%. Bali, ang babayaran na lang ay 80%. So, 80% of 550, yan na yung new sale price. So, i-multiply lang natin ito ng 0.8. 80% para makancel itong percent sign natin. I-move natin itong decimal twice to the left side. Tapos, i-drop natin yung percent sign. So, ang i-multiply natin dito ay 0.8. Mamaya na itong 0 na yan. 5 times 8 and that is 40. 5 times 8, 40 plus 4. This is 44. Meron pa tayong isang 0 dyan. So, yung mismong decimal natin, this is isa lang, 1. So, therefore, mag-move tayo ng isa lang decimal. Kaya, ang sagot dito ay 400. 40. Next, a handbag purchased for 880 was marked up 25% of the selling price. Later, as the retail prices fell, this bag was, bag was marked down 20% on the current sale price. Find its new sale price. Ang sagot ay 880. Again, doon tayo sa box method. So, isa-isahin natin yan. I-divide natin ng 4. Kasi 25%. Bali, ito ay 25%. 25%. Each ba box ay 25%. So, ang total nito ay, ang kabuan ay 100%. Now, since apat yan siya, Apat na 25% para maging 100%. Yang 880, i-divide natin ang 4. So, meron tayong tag 220 dito. 220, 220. Mark up 25%. So, mark up. Dagdag ka ng isa pang box na tag 220. So, ang total dito ay 1,100. Kaso lang nag-markdown. So, ilang boxes na ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 100 percent divided by 5. And this is 20 percent. So, therefore, itong markdown na 20 percent, yan lang din yung kunin natin. Kasi kada box dyan ay tag 20 percent. Yan yung 20 percent. Markdown, so ito lang yung 20 percent na i-markdown. So kung i-add natin itong natira, this is still 880. Another way sa pag-solve nito, another way, so 880, again, i-multiply natin ng 1.25. Ma'am, saan ulit galing yung 1? That is 100% kasi yan yung mismong kabuan 880. Yung 25.25 ay galing sa 25% na markup. So, yan yung i-multiply natin. 880 times 1.25, hindi na natin yan isa-isahin. That is still equal to 1,100. 
Now, yung 1,100, doon tayo sa 20% markdown yung 20%. So, kung i-multiply natin itong 20% dito, so, 0.2 na siya. And then, itong dalawang zero na to, i-bring down lang natin. So, this is 2 at yung decimal natin, isa lang naman ang decimal. So, this is equal to, dito na lang. 0.2. So, kung i-multiply natin yan, this is equal to 220. Again, ito yung markdown. Now, since yan yung markdown, 1,100 minus 220, and this is equal to 880. Thank you for watching and all. I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Laging tandaan when it comes to mathematics. Never memorize the answers because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.